Hey, what's up, Coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Today is episode 240. This week's theme is decision-making. And here's another message I got on Instagram. This guy was like, hey, Ben, there's already coaches in my area who have established businesses. I just don't know if I can compete with them. All right, and that leads to today's title, which is I just can't compete with the big boys. And uh, before we dig in here, make sure to leave us some feedback here on iTunes. Give us a five-star rating if you've been enjoying these podcast episodes. Share this podcast on social media. Send someone an email. Call someone and say, hey, dude, I really like this podcast. Start listening to it. Force your family members to start listening to this podcast. <laughs> Do whatever you can to help us out. All right, I say that every episode, and I'm not going to stop saying that. It's a call to action. It's a strong call to action. Start telling other people about this so we can help more kids and we can help more coaches build successful businesses. Now, if you are in this position where it's like you want to start your business and you see Joe Schmo, who has a business in your area and he's more established and he's been doing it for longer than you have and he already has kids he's training, well, guess what? That's a really good sign. That means that there's a big market for what you're doing because Joe Schmo is not training every kid that plays the sport that you coach. That's guaranteed, right? That'd be like me saying that I train every kid in my city that plays soccer. <laughs> like I want, I would want my competitors in my city to be like, man, I could never compete with him. That's what I want. I want other coaches to feel that. I want them to feel overwhelmed with the results that we, we produce, right? But it's unrealistic for those coaches to think, well, you know, this guy's doing it, and, you know, there's not, not going to be enough kids for me. That's scarcity thinking, all right? Do not want to think that way. So here's what we need to do is when we see other coaches in your area that are doing something, again, go back and listen to yesterday's episode. I talk about the Michael Phelps photo. You should have that photo on your phone and on your computer, right? So you can understand what tunnel vision means. Okay. If you don't know what that means, go back and listen to yesterday's episode and you'll understand. But what we need to do is operate like a machine, right? And I'll give you a really, really good example. Let's say tomorrow, my city, right? Hopefully this doesn't happen, but let's say an atomic bomb went off, right? I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> but let's say it did. And let's say I was outside the city limits and my wife and I and my brother and, you know, our family is safe. And we're in my car and we're driving away from the scene. And uh, we, we live. And I'm like, man, I don't have any more clients now. I need to move to a different city. And then I go on Google and I'm like, huh, what city do I want to live in? And we randomly just pick, let's say I pick uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. I, I love Scottsdale. So let's say I pick Scottsdale. And I already know, because I've talked to coaches that are in Scottsdale, I already know that there's coaches that are very established there. I've talked to most of them, right? So let's say I move there, though. And I'm like, oh, man, these dudes are really established. Ugh, not going to be able to do it. If I had that mindset, I don't deserve to have a business, <laughs> right? But I could go in there, not, I could have zero connections, right? And by using technology, my cellular device, <laughs> cellular, cellular device, <laughs> oh man, that's funny. By using my cell phone and my computer, I could figure out how to outperform the big boys who are already established. And I would just be like, well, who are these guys training? Where did these kids come from? What part of Scottsdale are these parents in? What kind of cars do these parents drive? What school do these kids go to? Once I have that, those details, it's game over. I'm going to go and, and compete with the big boys straight away, right? And so if you've ever asked yourself this question, well, I'm just not established and, and there's someone else doing this in my area. Again, this week comes down to making decisions. You cannot procrastinate any longer. Don't make that an excuse. You need to sack up, all right? Note up a little bit. 
and say, you know what, I'm going to do this no matter what. And if someone else in your area is successful, to me, that's a really good sign. And if, if there's no one else in your area, that's a really good sign too. That means you can be the leader in your city, right? And I'll leave you with one little side note here because this is something I was going to say on a different podcast, but I just want to say it now. When I started my business, there was someone else in my city who had a very successful business. This guy was doing around 250 grand a year. And I remember I spent like a month stalking this guy. Like he had no idea I was watching him. But <laughs> I stalked everything on his website. I stalked every session. And I was like, dude, there's no way that this guy, this, this was my mentality, but I was like, there's no way this guy's training every kid that uh, needs specialized training for soccer. And I was like, man, he's killing it. Like if I just had a smaller version of what he's doing, I could do this full time. And I realized, I was like, well, He's doing it this way. Here's how he's marketing. Like, what if I just out market him? Like, I wonder what's going to happen. Like, do, do, do. I wonder what's going to happen. Right. And sure enough, I started to out market him. I started to outmaneuver what he was doing. Right. Started to outthink him a little bit. And I created a brand that was totally opposite, that gave totally, like, totally different experience, totally different results than what he was doing. And then once parents started to catch on, they started to leave his program. And guess what happened? 10, 11 years later, that dude went bye-bye, moved to a different city. I don't know what he's doing now, but I'm still around. And I could have, though, just been like, oh, man, this dude's training every kid in my area. He's so successful. He's already really established. Could have made up all his excuses. But you know I'm not going to roll that way, and I don't want you to roll that way anymore. Or anymore. If, if you are rolling that way, right? So that's it for today's podcast, guys. I hope this helps you, right? Don't overthink stuff. Make decisions quickly, right? And if you need help with that, if you need personalized help with your business and you want to get to that next level and you want my one-on-one -on -one coaching, head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. From there, we can take it from there, all right? That's it. I'll catch you later.